So hello guys. Hey, long time no see. Uh, today, we just gonna make one simple comfort food for Hawaiian style comfort food anyway. For us was comfort food. I don't know about you guys, but you know we make the kind of when your mother them used to make uh, uh, corned beef cabbage, eh? And it's not the kind the Hawaii people think corned beef cabbage is the kind we use on the can. You know what I mean? So, but I tell you what, with prices going up nowadays, getting out of hand, it's the kind you can feed plenty people with not too much food. You know what I mean? No cost too much. But anyway, what I do now is I'm sweating some onions. I get them on uh, medium medium heat right now. And all we're gonna do is just sweat them down a little bit. You don't need to put onion in this. A lot, a lot of guys they make corned beef onion too. You know what I mean? But but us guys will put a little bit onion inside with the cabbage. So I put a little bit salt. Don't put too much salt because the corned beef salty. And then you can put a little bit show you inside that uh, soy sauce inside. So so just a little bit and then a little bit black pepper. And you can adjust later on, you know what I mean? You can adjust how much black pepper you like later on and whatnot. So I'm just gonna put a little bit and then we we'll go from there. So let me uh I gonna just make them kind of translucent, just sweat them down, only caramelize them or anything like that. And I using one sweet onion, using one Vidalia onion. If you stay home in Hawaii, you can use Maui onion or you can use brown whatever onion you like, bro. Wouldn't that it matter, you know what I mean? Just use them, just sweat them down a little bit, and then uh, once I sweat them down a little bit, I will show you the rest how we put everything together. Real simple. I tell you what, you spend five dollar on a corned beef, canned corned beef, one onion. This is one on little large onion, and one half cabbage. You can feed about four people with rice. You know what I mean? Rice with rice, macaroni salad, or whatever you like. But uh, just bring back childhood memories there for us. So and then I make them for the family up here in the mainland and they love it. Even the even some of my friends they they kinda start doing them too. They never did hear of this, surprisingly. Everybody think corned beef cabbage is the one with the, the regular corned beef, you know, the brisket eh? but but us guys show them this and they, they love it. So yeah, give me a few minutes, let me sweat this down and I'm gonna show you the rest of the way. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay guys. So I went sweat down I a little bit. Now it depends. How about how you like the onions there? Eh? I, I don't do them too much because us guys like to bite into the onions too yet. But some guys they like sweat them down real good. This is all up to you bro, okay? And then we're just going to add the corned beef, canned corned beef. You guys know, get the leaves out there, the hair fur, whatever canned corned beef you like. But I think corned beef, I think it's getting kind of high now. But but anyway, it's just one canned corned beef bro. One small, regular canned corned beef. A lot of guys gonna look at this in the mainland. They look, whoa, what is that, bro? You know what I mean? But, but trust me, if you live in Hawaii, you grew up in Hawaii, you eat this, bro. I know you guys eat this, so. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna put the canned corn rake inside and start mixing them around. Just broke them up a little bit, you know what I mean? And and get them sauteed. You, you gotta. You, we're gonna add a little bit, show you, but then you gotta know, yeah, the corn beef is salty already, so. Just watch, you know what I mean? Just watch when you guys add you guys seasoning. I'm gonna put a little bit granulated garlic too inside to get them going, but. And there's no really one recipe for this, so you guys know, they, you know what I mean? Just follow what they're doing right now. Uh, and I, I, I can tell you the ingredients, you know, one onion, one medium to large onion, one canned corned beef, and one half cabbage. You can put more cabbage if you like. You know, I'm making corned beef cabbage, but you can make cabbage corned beef if you like. You know what I mean? If you like cabbage that much, but I just putting one half a head, and I say cut them up pretty good. Some guys they cut them into little squares. I mean, I just shred them up. You know what I mean? I put them inside like that. Okay. And then you just gonna mix them to the cabbage they cook down a little bit. So right now, what you can do is, as you mixing them up, I'm gonna put a little bit granulated garlic, a little bit, yeah, not too much. Up to you, uh, that's up to you, like I say. I put in probably about a quarter teaspoon. And then, I'm gonna put a little bit show you inside. 
That's probably about a little over half a tablespoon or maybe close to one tablespoon. You, you do adjust the way you like them, you know what I mean? You taste them, you see how you like them and whatnot. So, And then just try to cook them down a little bit. A little bit stuck on the ground. I mean, I use it on cast iron, so you can use the non-stick you like. But just cook them down, get the cabbage wilted. You like the cabbage more crispy, no cook them as much. You like the cabbage more soft, cook them more, you know what I mean? If you guys getting hard time with the um no enough liquid or enough steam, add a little bit of water if you like, but no need actually, but if you like. You can make mess a little bit, that's okay. Well, clean them up. Tell your wife clean them up. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, that's pretty much it, bro. Let me go. Let me go cook this down a little bit, and I show you the final product. Okay, so the video not come too long. I see you in a bit. Okay, guys, we back. So this is it. This is pretty much it, bro. Right there. Corned beef cabbage, Hawaiian style corned beef cabbage. Bugger on up. You can feed about. Well, if it was guys like me, you can probably feed two, three. But then, you know what I mean. You can feed up to four people with this, but put rice and then macaroni salad or some salad or whatever you like put. But this is it, bro. That's that's all it is. And uh, you guys try the thing, oh no, bro. That thing tastes real good. Um, put a little bit extra show you if you like, and just taste some. You know what I mean? Like I say, everything salty, so no add too much more salt. You can add more salt if you like. Or whatever, just to your taste, you know what I mean. But anyway, I will be back with a little bit more videos. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, katsu the next one. Everybody been asking for tonkatsu and chicken katsu like that, so I'm gonna make that uh, the next video. And then that's it, bro. It's something simple. Get through the days nowadays with everything's costing so expensive eh, nowadays. So hopefully. This one, you guys enjoy this, bro. The thing is, oh no, you guys know that. You guys know corned beef cabbage. Anyway, you guys take it out there, okay? And, uh. Anyway, guys, take it out there, yeah? And you guys stay safe out there. And I shall see you guys with another video in about a week or so, or a little less, when I get some time. Um. We had a lot of things going on up here, but, uh. Hopefully, everything kind of smooth out, yeah? Anyway, you guys stay blessed out there. Stay always blessed. You guys always stay safe. And we shall see you guys on the next video, okay? Corned beef, cabbage, Hawaiian style, bro. You guys, you guys go try them. Oh, no. All right? Aloha.